do I know you? You're overwhelmed. You're so busy and stressed out. You're also smart, brilliant at what you do. And yet there's a part of you that is not fully realized yet that knows there must be something more. And you ask, is this how I'm supposed to feel? Is this all there is? And you're successful by our cultural standards, but you have this nagging feeling that there must be more than this. You know how to work, you know how to succeed. And yet when you put your head on the pillow at night, you can't sleep. You wonder if you will ever feel like you have done enough, if you are enough, that what you do matters. If you've clicked on this video, you know that there is something you're looking for and you can't quite put your finger on it. And I get it because I asked those questions many, many, many times over my lifetime. I'm Sarah Jane Farrell and I am an expert on healing naturally from trauma and anxiety and depression. I did a lot, a lot of work in the field of life. I know trauma because I've come through abuse. I survived the unthinkable many times. And you might be thinking, Sarah Jane, abuse, trauma, me? I've not had any trauma, I'm not abused. I've had a relatively good life. But maybe, like me, it wasn't the big traumas like war or physical violence or sexual abuse, but more the quiet, chronic, toxic, daily, unpredictable stress. The abuse that is so normal that you didn't even know it was traumatic for you. You just thought, that's life. You see, I grew up in a country at war where I watched my mother nurse my sister's boyfriend. They couldn't have been more than eight at the time. And like so many men in those days, they were sent to fight a violent bush war that was very hand-on-hand -on -hand contact and he had had his leg blown off. I can still smell that sickly, sweet, rotting flesh in our home that never quite left the air while he was there. Convoys were the only way to travel and Mortar attack drills were a daily practice at school. I was also three, four, three or four daughters of an abusive alcoholic father, a very famous rugby player in his day who everybody loved, but he was classic Jekyll and Hyde and a classic narcissist, where if you were not number one, you were nothing. So we were all pretty much overachievers. My mother did her best to hide her depression, always doing more, working harder, trying to keep it all together for us, and doing it all alone. And I knew more than anything that all she really craved was love and acknowledgement and, and kindness. So years later when I left home, I made life work really, really well for me. I was independent, I was successful, I bought my first home cash at the age of 30. And everything was great except for this one default pattern of choosing emotionally unavailable men that wore down my self-esteem and my confidence. So how at 35 did I land up broken and lost in a mental hospital? <sighs> it started way before that moment when my partner at the time told me to take a gun and shoot myself or, or leave the marriage with nothing way before my business was liquidated, way before my home was auctioned off in front of me, way before I found myself alone and pregnant at 17, wandering the streets looking for a backstreet abortion. And it went way back long before I was ever diagnosed as bipolar or sent home to get my affairs in order because they'd found two inoperable brain tumors at the back of my head that were aggressive and not going away. It started long before I found myself trapped and too afraid to leave a seven-year marriage with a narcissistic man who 
was self-medicating with pornography and cocaine and booze and gambling because he himself was suffering from PSTD from all the years of being a mercenary. And the funny thing is, as I tell you my story, I was functioning well. I was living a great life, but it was a big lie. It looked very successful from the outside and I had this gorgeous home, this gorgeous lifestyle, all the money, my own businesses that were making great money, social life that was amazing and wonderful friends. But I was dying inside. I was feeling so trapped in a prison of my own making and I was so desperate to break free but I was too exhausted and beaten down and anxious and depressed to even start to know how I was ever going to get out of it. So I know you a little bit because I was you. Fifteen years ago I was there in that dark place completely disconnected from my joy, spiritually divorced, numbed out from my body, homeless, bankrupt and so, so ashamed that the only thing I had left as an option was to take my own life, to get out of my pain. And that is what landed me in a mental hospital. And when I look back now, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. It forced me to re-examine my relationship with myself, with my fear, uh, to my unresolved trauma that had shut down my nervous system and made my body so, so sick. And I had to take back responsibility for my life or stay. Stay imprisoned in the fear, numbed out from my body, completely disconnected from everything, including my life, and choose to live or choose to die. So I committed to my recovery. And it took me years. And at times I, I just wanted to give up. It was so painful. And it was taking so long and it would be backwards and forwards and it was hard to face my fears and look at my life and my stories. But I kept going with great support behind me and I began to learn and apply some of the best cutting edge healing modalities, spiritual practices, body based protocols and nutrition and movement. And all of them were so crucial and effective in my recovery. But I found that they never seemed to change permanently. There was always kind of this backslide. And I started looking at this and I discovered that there was a big missing piece. And that was healing at the level of my nervous system. Going back and looking at my genetic blueprint on a cellular level. And when I started to apply what I'd learned consistently, I started to not only feel better, but I started to remember who I was. And I was feeling vital and I was present and I was focused. And I was excited about my life again. And people, including my brain specialist, wanted to know what I was doing different. I wasn't on any medication. I was just focusing on that I could trust my body to heal itself. And that's how the true nature systems were born. A culmination of my lifetime of inner work, of unresolved traumas, and over a decade of looking at neuroscience and healing modalities and a lot of equine psychotherapy because horses are really great teachers. So that's what I do because I want to help you to say yes to loving yourself deeply. I am so, so committed to teaching you to turn your pain into purpose, to feel so that you can heal and not take a whole lifetime like I did to get this information and be your own medicine because you didn't live through all of your trauma and all your hardship to not be fulfilled and deeply happy in your purpose. It took me years of soul searching, of experimenting with movement, of nutrition and mindset and rewiring my nervous system and rebooting my brain. And I want you to stop asking why this has happened to you and rewrite your story like I did by asking why is this happening for me? I know you can create a life you love and you won't need a brain tumor, a bipolar diagnosis, narcissistic abuse, bankruptcy, or a year in a mental hospital to fall in love with yourself and your life again. Thank you. My pleasure to give that to you. And I know how disempowering it is to lose your identity, to not know who you are, and to not know why you're alive. And while we don't get to leave our past behind us, and we can't change what's happened to, to us, 
you can choose how to use it to transform you. That is the gift of accessing your true nature, of feeling your feelings, your fear, your grief, your loss, your pain, your joy. And I want you to know that when you change your mind, you can change your feelings and you change your behaviors and that changes your life. Inch by inch is a cinch. That is your genetic blueprint. It is your birthright to live better and dare greatly and feel fulfilled and lit up and deeply happy. And you have the power to do that, but you have to choose to do it and do the work. That's what I teach my clients, to be their own medicine, to move free and love themselves completely. So if you're tired of doing the same thing over and over again with the same result and you want to start to change your life, stop making it so hard. Stop the comparison overwhelm and start living deeply happy and fulfilled. It starts with loving yourself from the inside out and I want to help you to do that. That's what I do best because you're not broken, there's nothing to fix, it's not your fault, and I want you to believe you are enough. You've always been enough, and it's time to reclaim your life, don't you think? And it would be my honor to support you in making those tiny tweaks that lead to big changes, not just for your freedom, but for the people you serve. So, if that sounds like something that you'd want to explore, hop over to access your true nature and take that first step. The first step is always the hardest. There's a quiz there that is going to take you through and get your score on how high your aces were, your adverse childhood experiences, and to start to get to know who you are and just how resilient you are. So when you take that quiz, you're going to get a beautiful thank you letter from me along with some support materials so that you can really start examining all these places where you've been making yourself wrong and actually come back to your heart. Take control over your life because the power of choice is yours and yours alone. I can take you to the door, but you have to step through it. You have to do the work. So if that interests you, hop on over there. And if you know somebody that's feeling like I was feeling all those years ago, and you think this would be a, a contribution to them, please share it, link this video to them, and post your comments and questions below. I would really love to know what, what's standing in your way and give you some pragmatic tools and techniques that you can actually start resetting your nervous system and find that place of inner peace and calm that you are unshakable even in the chaotic, crazy times that we're living in. So let me know what you need and I look forward to getting to know you and serving you in the near future because I believe that when we can really truly take responsibility for healing our own trauma, we get to not only heal ourselves but the people around us and when we do that, we get to heal the world on a, on a much larger scale. And that includes for the animals and the planet too. So remember, the world's not waiting for someone like you. The world's waiting for you and what only you have to share with the world. And remember, tread lightly on yourself and know that you are so loved and so appreciated. Bye.